Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to take the entire line of Revlon's brand new Color Stay Limitless Matte Liquid Lipsticks and swatch the shades for you. There are a total of I believe 16 colors in the line and I have all 16 here to show you so I hope you're looking forward to that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and also follow on Instagram. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you missed the last video I will link it in the upper right hand corner for you to click on and check out if you want to. Currently, because these are so new, I only see them available in a couple places. Always check the description box or the products tag that shows up in the video window itself. Those are affiliate links almost always and they will take you to where you can find them to purchase online. They seem to be available through Walmart and through Amazon currently and the price is going to depend on where you find them, but they're in the range somewhere around $13, $14 each. Let's see what Revlon says about the formula. They call it a comfortable 24-hour matte formula made with 100% vegan ingredients. It has a non-tightening formula and is suitable for sensitive lips. Plus, it delivers vibrant color in just one step. When they talk about the formulation and ingredients, they call out the triple hyaluronic acid ingredient and they say upcycled cranberry extract. I'm not quite sure what the upcycled part of that means. The formula has an Adaptiflex technology for more comfort and flexibility. When you look at the ingredients, you do see that there is fragrance added. Limonene and lanolol is also added, which are fragrant ingredients. Now, in terms of application, it says to fill the lips with a thin, even coat and then let the product dry for 30 to 45 seconds without disruption. To remove, it says to use an oiled base makeup remover or makeup wipes. If you're interested in checking out the version of this lip product in the satin finish formulation, I believe I did a video swatching those already, so I'll try to find that and link that in the upper right hand corner for you if that interests you also. So as you can see from the various colors, each of the tubes is plastic, squared, opaque, but the tube itself is in the color that's supposed to represent the shade you're going to get. You'll get 0.17 fluid ounces or five milliliters of product. Got a twist off handle. Oh, interesting, the middle of it is clear. Um, it's very interesting. I haven't seen that before, I don't think. And I've also never seen, I don't think, this kind of doe foot applicator. It's in kind of a wave design. And the shade number and name are on the bottom. And then that letter you see is the undertone. So you have N for neutral, C for cool, and W for the warm shades. All right, shade one, Beauty Sleep, is a deeper neutral nude. Actually, it's a warm toned nude shade. Two is Poster Child. This is more of a peachy pinky medium nude. This is in the neutrals category. Three is Upper Hand. It's a very deep, more browny nude. Again, in the neutrals family. Four is Model Behavior. And this is in the Warm family. Another medium to deep nude. This has more of almost like a terracotta-y feel, definitely warm toned. Shade five is called Strut. And this is a cool toned pinky lilac-y shade. Six is Manifest. A deepy, a deeper rosy pink. This is in the neutrals 
family. Look at how much came off that brush just now. Or doe foot, I should say. Seven is Icon Era. Cool toned, bright, fuchsia. Eight is Stir Me Up in the, it says Neutrals family. This is a hard color to describe. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to describe it. It's not pink. Well, it's kind of pink. <laughs> Leave in the comments below how you would describe this color. Nine is Hot Take. Bright fiery orange. Definitely in the warm family. Ten is top talent. This is a bright warm toned red. Eleven fire off is a cool toned red. What a nice example of the contrast between warm and cool. You see how blue based this is? And then this is much more yellow or orange based. This is the warm toned red. Twelve is lead the way. Ooh. This is a cool toned, pretty deep, dusty, purpley mauve. Thirteen is Real Deal, another cool toned shade. This one's a less dusty version of mauve. 14, Dream Job. Ooh, pretty. This is in the warm family. This is a, I would say like a rosy, deep pink mauve. 15, Hype Girl. Very deep red wine. This is in the cool family. 16 extra shot super deep like a blackened brown boysenberry in the cool family 16 All right, here are all 16 shades. You can see how the first shades that were swatched are more dry and matte. The ones we recently swatched are more glossy, so I'm really going to let these set because they're swatches, there's a heavier product on there so it takes longer to dry. I'm going to give them as much time as they need to look matte like the first swatches do. Uh, but I will say in the meantime that you can definitely uh, smell the fragrance that's been added to the formula. I could smell it while I was swatching them on my arm. Okay, so here are your 16 shades. They're pretty much dried. In the middle on that bright fuchsia shade, there's a glob there that's probably never gonna dry, so I'm just gonna avoid that when I swatch, or I should say when I swipe. But here's what the texture and colors look like when they're pretty much dried. Very vibrant. We'll see on, you'll see on the lips as we're going through the video whether there's any streakiness or anything like that. Okay, in the swipe test, I'm going to stick to the bottom where it's all dried across the board. There's a little bit of a resistance on the surface, but yeah, these are pretty much budge proof. These little sections that haven't fully dried are the parts that are streaking, but once they've dried down, these are going to stick 
Um, I do feel like there is a bit of cracking. You can see in the surface, you see how it's a little bit crackly when it's dried. So hopefully it doesn't look too, you know, desert dry on the lips like that. And then let's do the makeup remover test. Yeah, these are, <laughs> these are gonna stick to you. So I'm using a makeup wipe, but I would recommend that you probably go with using an oil-based product to remove this first and then wash it off because this is requiring a lot of scraping and using a lot of pressure. And even then it's not really fully coming off. But that does mean that you should expect to get a long life out of the wear after application and after it's dried. So here are my thoughts after using these for a little bit. A, they all have good color, but I will say that uh, a lot of the colors kind of go on streaky and you're gonna have a harder time, especially with those really deep colors or really bright colors. I like how Revlon has divided these into not only undertones, cool, warm, and neutral, but also color families. So you start out with the nudes, then you go into the pinks, then into the reds, then into the more berries and purples. So they're really covering the whole spectrum. The shape of the doe fit is interesting, but I don't think it's any more helpful than a regular doe fit for application and preciseness. I agree with Revlon's recommendation that the way to apply these is apply a really thin layer and you very well may get some unevenness or streakiness in the color. Let that first thin layer dry and then apply a second thin layer and you should be able to get in an opaque and even layer of color. I will disagree with the claim that there is no tightening or pruniness that happens. Even though this initially feels like a pretty comfortable formula and even though it isn't super drying, there is still a little bit of A, of slight tackiness even after it's dried, and B, definitely a little bit of tightening or pruning of the skin once it's completely dried down. So keep that in mind if you already have dry lips. This might not be the formula for you, although like I said, it's not super drying. Or you might just want to put a clear chapstick on top. I find that's a nice way to keep a matte finish, but get a little more moisture on top. So leave me a comment if there's a shade or two that really pops out to you that you really like if you have any questions or thoughts on the formulation. I hope this was helpful to you if you're trying to decide what shades you want to actually purchase. Thanks for taking the time to watch and as always I'll see you in the next video.